As more and more territory in the north is captured by government forces, the time will soon come when we have to come to terms with the issues of power sharing that has dogged us as a nation throughout the decades. With another provincial council elections around the corner, in the central and Vamba provinces, the 13th Amendment to the Constitution comes into prominence once again. The government is keen on implementing the 13th Amendment, especially the Provincial Councils Act, to demonstrate their commitment to devolving power to the regions of Sri Lanka. Here are the views of some politicians, both in and out of the government, on how they see the 13th Amendment. A deeply entrenched, centralized power structure has long been blamed for underdevelopment and lack of sensitivity to issues and concerns which exist in the periphery. As far back as the 1950s, there were calls for the devolution of power, which simplistically means the transferring of political and administrative decision-making authority from the central government to elected bodies at lower levels. Then, in 1987, the Indo-Sri Lanka Accord recognized the strengthening of provincial councils through the 13th Amendment to the Constitution. The provincial council will have power as agreed between the center and the province to function as its authority. This is what was envisaged, that the central government, which functions as the ruling power and the ruling body, will uh, give away to the provinces some of its powers, which are to be discharged exercised by the provincial council elected by the people. This is the basic concept. We have a history of missed opportunities. And uh, in 1987, the provincial council was set up. The Vataraja Premal and then, the, of course, the, the new president came in. If J.R. Javadan had been there, I think Sudai was not taken on a different term, in my personal assessment. Efforts to implement the 13th Amendment were subverted by successive governments due to varying factors. In the past and even today, certain groups are against any devolution, as they believe it would be detrimental to national interests. Pradhana Karunu Dekakyu. Ekaktamai, Aperate, Jatika Prashni Visandana Puluaki. Devini Ekatamai, Palat Artika Sangwardane, Udakaragana Puluanki. Namut E Dhatungani Sansodane Enakotama Janata Mukti Peramuna Ita Pahadi Livakiwa Me Sansodane Haraha Aperate Jatika Prashni Visadana Be Eva Gema Palat Sangwardana Tikarana Bekinik. Think other Aur to Gana Katapasi, Aur to Visigana Nakatapasi. Janata Mukti Permune da Hitpus Tavaria, Siet Dahas Gune King, Sanata Velatium. Other Aperate Jatik Prashnate Me Palasabah Krame, Kisiset Mesumakvela Neh. Despite the negative sentiments it generates, even from within its ranks, the government has demonstrated commitment to fully implement the 13th Amendment based on the recommendations of the All Party Representatives Committee. Janata wishing Apatora Patkaraganati Binni, Ungi Apekshawan, Arbunu to Karan, Karagan. Aparati Sam Palatamu Jivatun Janata and Melabiati, Praja Chantravadi, Aitiwaskam Vagima, Api Uturi Janata Vagit, Praja Chantravadi, Aisiwaskam, Raka, Diyutu. This commitment has been visibly demonstrated by conducting provincial council elections in the recently liberated Eastern Province following a lapse of 14 years. While normalcy is being restored here and development initiatives are being kick-started, some uncertainties are surfacing on the level of empowerment of the nine provincial councils in the country. Today, there is growing consensus that the 13th Amendment, even if implemented in full, may not be an adequate tool to empower the provinces to act decisively concerning the welfare of local populations. It was never implemented properly. If it is adequately implemented, then the people will be, begin to realize, the, I mean, enjoy the fruits of it. 
So, that will create con new conditions. Even the, those younger elements might like to reconsider their position. So, when they and they, they will get complete dissolution when even uh, the 30th amendment was not implemented. That is what happened. So, and this uh, younger boy, they took an extremist position. So, yeah. But the, the, even now today, the general moderate people, do you think, they say at least, you know, a large number of people, intellectuals, they are the, at least first implement it. Then you can think of 13th Amendment plus later, which creates new conditions. <laughs>